Discover the fascinating origins of the Korean people through the lens of sacred scriptures, genetic analysis, and historical narrative. Join us as we delve deep into this intriguing exploration, shedding light on a topic rarely discussed. Subscribe now for more insights on the series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. Koreans as an Ethnic Group In the Chronicles of Nations, the tale of the Koreans stands as a testament to their enduring spirit and cultural richness. Emerging from the ancient lands of East Asia, the Korean people trace their origins to the venerable peninsula known as Korea. This land, now divided into two sovereign states, North Korea and South Korea, remains a singular entity in the hearts of its people, collectively known as Korea. By the year 2021, the diaspora of the Korean people had spread far and wide across the globe. Approximately 7.3 million Koreans had established their lives beyond the borders of their ancestral homeland. In the vast realms of Asia, Koreans have been officially acknowledged as an ethnic minority in countries such as China, Japan, Kazakhstan, Russia and Uzbekistan. These communities have maintained their distinct heritage while contributing to the rich tapestry of their host nations. Beyond the Asian continent, the influence of the Korean people has reached distant shores. Significant Korean communities have flourished in lands as diverse as Germany, the United Kingdom and France in Europe. Across the Atlantic, the United States and Canada have welcomed many Koreans who have enriched these nations with their culture and industry. Even in the distant lands of Oceania, the Korean presence is felt, a testament to their global journey and the enduring legacy of their ancient heritage. South Koreans refer to themselves as Hangin or Hangaram, both meaning people of Han. This includes members of the Korean diaspora who often use the term Hanin. Meanwhile, North Koreans refer to themselves as Kosan-in or Kosan-saran, both literally meaning people of Kosan, derived from the first Korean kingdom. Koreans in China identify themselves as Kaoxian Ren in Chinese or Joseonin in Korean, both literally meaning group of Joseon. On the other hand, Koreans in Japan self-identify as Zainichi Chosenjin in Japanese or Zainichi Joseonin in Korean. Ethnic Koreans residing in Russia and Central Asia refer to themselves as Koryo Saram, alluding to the Korean Goryeo dynasty, which existed from 918 to 1392. Ancient Genomes and Korean Genetic Composition Comparatively, Genetic analyses of ancient genomes have revealed that the genetic composition of Koreans can be better described as a mixture of ancient Northeast Asian, Russian and Iron Age genomes in the Southwest Asian region. For example, in Cambodia, Koreans typically exhibit a genetic composition reflecting around 30% Neo-Siberian influence from Northeast Asia, represented by migratory events, and approximately 70% Southeast Asian influence, represented by indigenous groups isolated in Vietnam and Taiwan. Additionally, it is interesting to note that all East Asians, including Neo-Siberians, Paleo-Siberians and Native Americans, descend from East Asian ancestors who migrated from Southwest Asia in various expansions to the North. Addressing a common question about Chinese, Koreans and Japanese, Koreans and Chinese are closely related, especially with Han Chinese. The genetic proximity between Han Chinese and Koreans is notable, being closer than, for example, a genetic comparison between Germans and Italians. The East Asian region, and to some extent the Southeast Asian region, are notable for being genetically homogeneous and closely related. Genealogical studies indicate extremely similar genetic profiles among Koreans, Chinese and Japanese, making them genetically almost indistinguishable. Ancient samples located globally, analyzed using autosomal DNA, reveal that East and Southeast Asians form a single genetic cluster. Furthermore, they are close to populations in Oceania and Native Americans. Therefore, 
Indigenous peoples such as those in Brazil and North America are closely related to Koreans, Chinese and Japanese due to their shared origin, making them, in other words, sibling peoples. Lineage of Sin and Japheth Through ancient biblical genealogies, we discover that the Chinese are descendants of Sin. Although some may question if they truly belong to the lineage of Ham, the Hamites, I will explain further. The first ancestor of both South and North Koreans is Sin, the son of Canaan. The second ancient ancestor of the Korean people comes from the lineage of Japheth and is called Togarma, one of the grandsons of Japheth and the son of Goma, as described in Genesis 10. Sin and Togarma represent the lineages of Canaan and Japheth, respectively. The Canaanite groups remained in the Middle East, while the descendants of Sin, the Sinites or Chinese, migrated to the east, reaching China and dispersing to other nearby regions. Many experts claim that Japheth's wife played a crucial role in introducing the Asian factor, including the slanted eyes and distinctive features of Asian peoples. However, some also suggest that this Asian trait, including slanted eyes, may have been inherited from the descendants of Ham. Some African tribes descended from Ham, such as the San and Khoisan, are known for their slanted eyes, similar to some East Asian peoples. Biblical Lineages and Asian Genetics The origin of the Koreans is often linked to two biblical characters, Japheth and Ham, whose descendants are thought to have migrated and populated various parts of the world. In this narrative, some East Asian peoples, including Koreans, exhibit a lighter skin tone attributed to the descendants of Japheth, particularly through Togama, Japheth's grandson. This connection suggests that the Asian genetics of Koreans may have derived from both Japheth's lineage and the descendants of Ham, resulting in the diverse characteristics observed among various East Asian groups. According to biblical genealogies and ancient traditions, Chinese, Koreans and Japanese are considered genetically related descendants of Sin, the son of Canaan, who was Ham's son, and Togama, Japheth's grandson. This mixed heritage is thought to explain the range of physical and cultural traits present in these populations. Ancient maps and Jewish and Semitic traditions often describe the peoples of the Far East as Sin or Sim in Hebrew, a term that appears in historical and biblical references. Additionally, the book of Ezekiel mentions the House of Togarma, suggesting that these ancient peoples were recognized and recorded in religious texts and historical accounts. Togarma is traditionally associated with the peoples of Asia Minor and the Caucasus, indicating a broad geographical connection that includes East Asia. The mixture of these lineages, Japheth's descendants through Togarma and Ham's through Sin, contributed to the unique genetic and cultural makeup of East Asian populations. This blending of lineages may also explain the origin of various indigenous peoples in the region. In the context of ancient migrations, it is believed that Japheth's descendants moved north and east, spreading across Asia and into Europe, while Ham's descendants migrated south and west into Africa and parts of the Middle East. The intersection of these migratory paths in East Asia could have led to the diverse genetic pool seen in populations like the Koreans. This topic not only enriches our understanding of the biblical connections to modern populations, but also highlights the intricate web of human migration and genetic diversity that has shaped the world. I thank everyone who has watched so far and ask that you share the video, as well as provide suggestions for future content on the origins of other Asian, Oceanian, African-American and other world regions. God bless and see you in the next video.